Global mining giant giant Freeport McMoran reporting Q3 results this morning, beating estimates on the top and bottom lines, but warning that high capital costs and the weakness in copper prices are impacting project development. Copper prices down 12% over the last six months. CEO and Chair Richard Adkerson joins us now for an exclusive interview. Richard, it's great to have you back on. And that is exactly where I want to start with you, is the fact that just earlier this week, we saw copper futures hitting their lowest level of the year. How much is that a reflection of the state of the global economy right now? There is some impact for it, particularly in Europe right now. Uh, China has its issues that CNBC reports regularly on, but actually China set a record for copper demand last year, and the weakness in their property and industrial sectors is being offset by growth in the green economy, alternative energy, electric cars, and so forth. So uh, big picture, copper demand is good. Investor sentiment, though, is very negative about uh, uh, commodities like ours and equities like ours for, uh, you know, for the reasons that are well known. Uh, and so we're having to deal with lower prices. And at Freeport, we're very, our cash flows are driven by copper prices because copper is our strategy. Yeah, and I think you, you trimmed uh, cash flow guidance for the year in part due to that. Um, we've talked about it before, Richard, but, but it's worth reviewing it again. And that's the fact that there is, as you've argued, the structural mismatch between supply and demand. When you have prices come off the way they have this year, what does that mean in terms of future investment with the electrification and the greenification of the global economy happening? At, at what point would you anticipate that we do start to see this shortfall uh, and, and thus a reversal in prices? Well, it is dependent on the economy because um, half of copper demand comes out of China and it is, as you said in your lead in, uh, a measure of the global economy. Um, it's, it, it's not only low prices, Morgan, but it's also uh, the effect of inflation on development costs. So you've got an issue with lower prices, higher development costs, Developing new copper mines are really challenging wherever you are for a variety of reasons. And so that is delaying the decisions to make major new investments in mines for companies like ours and others in the industry is delaying that. And that is simply bolstering what I'm very confident is going to be a coming shortage in copper. So we're preparing ourselves for that. We're being very prudent in the way we spend money and manage our operations. Got a very strong balance sheet, but we're extremely confident about the longer term future and where our company's positioned. How did geopolitical events factor into all this? And I ask that knowing that you have mines in the US, Indonesia, and Latin America. Um, but given the uncertainty in the world right now, more broadly, how do you decide where to invest and how to invest from that standpoint? So we are. We benefit because we have a very large level of current production that doesn't have near-term declines of significance. So we're not forced to invest. We can make our decisions about when to invest. Uh, we don't have time limits on projects. Uh, and so we uh, monitor current economic and geopolitical events. Uh, we look at the economics of individual projects, how they fit into our portfolio, and then we make investment decisions. Uh, one area where we're really making great progress is adding low capital uh, copper volumes through technology advancing and the process called leaching and other technology deals. Uh, you can see from our results today, our worldwide organization is performing very strongly in the face of some uh, challenges this year. Uh, we answered the bell and rang the bell. So we, we're doing really well operationally. We've got a great set of assets. And we're just being prudent in the current situation about when do we pull the trigger on these big projects. Hmm. They're multi-billion dollar projects. They take uh, years to execute, you know, uh, 10 years or more. Hmm. Uh, we're preparing for them and we will be investing but we're being prudent right now. All right.